Hey, this is the Black Belt Panda. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to build this modern garage, which is part four in the Modern House Build series. So to get started, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is bring these gray concrete pillars up by one more block. So I'm gonna bring this one up all the way across. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that we've done that, we can start using the white concrete blocks to bring a pillar horizontally out to match the one we've got sticking out there, just like this. And then we can bring that out another 11 blocks. And then bring that straight down to the ground. Next, diagonally across from the building here, we're gonna bring another horizontal pillar all the way across to the back just like so. And then we're gonna bring one more horizontal pillar out to the back from this side of the gray concrete pillars, just like that. And now bring that 10 more blocks out to match the other one. Now we can bring that straight down to the ground. Next, connect across the tops from one side to the other. And now we can fill in this entire wall here with white concrete blocks. All right, once we've got that done, we can now fill in the entire ceiling here, once again, with white concrete blocks. All right, that's the outside frame of the garage complete. Next, we're gonna use gray concrete blocks to create a couple more pillars here. One block in, across the top, bring it all the way across and leave a two block space, and then bring it straight down to the ground. Looks good, we're gonna do the same thing on the back now, but this time in line with the back wall right here. All the way across, leaving a two block space, and then bring that all the way to the ground. Okay, inside this space is gonna be our garage. So now we're gonna use dark oak planks. We're gonna place one right there, bring it down all the way across, place one above that, and then bring that straight to the ground. And now we're gonna build a wall all the way across to the other side. Just like that. We're gonna do the same thing along the back here now. We've got a great start here on the garage. Next, we're gonna bring this side down to the ground and then place up above the doorway as well. And then two blocks to the left of the doorway. Now we're gonna skip the space below and above the window and fill in above that. All right, and now we're gonna use red concrete blocks to fill in that space below the window and above it and that'll just look like uh, some toolboxes. Now we're gonna place two more here, skip a block, two in this corner here, do the same above, two, skip a block, two more, and connect on the left. And now above that, we can fill in with the dark oak planks. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna use upside down dark oak stairs in the doorway here, just like that, and on the other side as well. Just add a bit more shape. Next, we're gonna create the driveway. So to do that, we're gonna break all the blocks here all the way out as far as you want your driveway to go. Don't forget these two blocks here. Now we're gonna break two more blocks out that way, all the way to the house. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna be breaking all the blocks all the way back to the house. Starting with these two. And then we're gonna break these all the way back. You don't have to break under this wall here, but don't forget to break these blocks right here. 
and you can stop when you reach the back of the house. Next, we're gonna use stone brick slabs to fill in this space here and bring those all the way out to the front, however long your driveway is. And we're gonna place more stone brick slabs on the other side here. And then the space that's left in between, we're gonna fill with regular stone slabs all the way to the back. And you can place a stone brick slab here in the corner as well. All right, we've got a nice sidewalk now. Now we're gonna place some stone slabs on this side of the stone brick slabs. That's gonna be half the border of our driveway. On this side, we're gonna place some stone brick slabs for the outside border of the driveway. And then for the inside border of the driveway, more stone slabs all the way across. Looks good. Now we've got a space here for our driveway, which we're going to fill in with black concrete and black concrete powder. So start with the black concrete and just place it randomly. Just spam it as random as you'd like. and then fill in the spaces that are left with black concrete powder. All right, now we've got a driveway, it looks good. Cool thing about this is it's unique every time. So next thing we're gonna do is grab a cauldron and place it in the corner with a trap door on top. It gives a nice little waste basket. And then we can place a fence gate in this corner, open it up, and some iron trap doors along the top to give us a nice little workbench. Then we're gonna place a crafting table up above and a chest down below. And to the left of the chest, we're gonna place an iron pressure plate. And then on either side of the crafting table, tripwire hooks, and then a stone button on the left, another one over here, and one on the right to make it look more like toolboxes. Next, we're gonna grab some item frames, place one there and one there. In the left one, I'm placing an iron hoe, rotate it to face down. Shears in the right, rotate it to face down as well. Give us some nice hanging tools. Over here, we're gonna place a sacrificial block, one over from the cauldron, and then one more over from that. Fence gates on top of both of those, open them up, and then break the sacrificial blocks and throw some trap doors above the fence gates to give us a nice wooden shelf. Now, we can place a flower pot over in the window here. You can put whatever you'd like in it. I'm putting a fern in mine. And then we can go inside here and place some birch doors right there, open them up so that they face outward. And now we've got a nice set of garage doors. Next, we can fill in the ceiling here with the dark oak planks, starting from those blocks there and bringing them all the way back, just like this. Looks good. Now we're gonna grab an observer block, place that above the crafting table, and then two iron bars in front of that to give us a garage door rail. Either side, we're gonna place birch slabs in a two by two square, just like that to give us a nice shelf. Now we're gonna use iron trap doors, place them in front of the rails, and then fill in the space all the way to the front of the garage. And to make those look a little bit nicer, we're gonna go up top of the roof here. We're gonna count three blocks in, and then we're gonna break that, and then we're gonna break all the way across to the other side, and we're gonna place some levers down and activate them all the way across here. These should be above the front iron trap doors. Now we can replace the blocks we broke, and when we head back down, we'll see that the front trap doors have opened, and the garage door just looks a little bit nicer, like it's not quite all the way open. Very nice. Now we can go around to the left side here and place some bushes using leaf blocks all the way across here. And then on the back, we can use anvils in either corner and throw three leaf blocks on top of each of those to give us some nice outdoor plants. Looks good. Now back around to the front, we can start working on the first motorcycle. So for this, you're gonna to wanna to grab a coal block and place it in line with a fence gate there. Skip two blocks, 
place another one. Behind that one, we're gonna place a quartz slab. And then on top of that, we're gonna place a repeater facing that way, set it to four ticks so it looks like handlebars. Then we're gonna grab a rail, place it on the ground here, and one on the coal block, break the one on top of the coal block, and then on top of that rail, we can place a mine cart, and that's gonna be our seat. And then on the sides of the coal blocks, we can place item frames. And go ahead and place one on the front as well. And in those side item frames, we're gonna place tripwire hooks and rotate them so that the front one faces that way and the back one faces that way. Do the same on the other side. And then on the front, we can place a sunflower to act as a headlight. And on the back, we can place a sign to act as a license plate. And you can write whatever you'd like on this, be as clever as you'd like, up to you. And then on top of the coal blocks, we can go ahead and place some red carpet. Give the bike some color. Got a nice little sports bike now. It looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go around to the front and we're gonna build another bike. This time we're gonna place down a coal block somewhere in the front here. You can place it wherever you'd like. Skip a block, place a red concrete block, skip another block and another coal block. And then in front of the red concrete block, place a rail, place one on top, break the one on top, place a rail behind it, place one on the coal block and break that. And then we can place red carpet on top of the coal blocks and a comparator on top of the red concrete block, which you could turn on or leave off, up to you. Then item frames on the sides of the coal blocks again and one in front. And once again, we're gonna put tripwire hooks in those and rotate them the same way as we did before. Go ahead and place a sign on the back to act as your license plate. And once again, be as clever as you'd like. And then a sunflower on the front to act as a headlight. On the sides, we can place some stone buttons to act as foot pegs. And then of course a mine cart on the back rail to give us a nice seat. And boom, we've got a chopper. Look at that. I like it. All right, now one last bit of detail for the house. We're gonna place some quartz slabs. One right up here two below that, three below that, and then four more below that. I've got some extra detail on the house now. And of course, that'll look better once the house is complete. We've got even more detail going, but that's it. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and share this video with your friends if you can. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Thanks for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.